What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we've got some pretty crazy stuff because we're getting another Sugo Fest exclusive character and I agree with most people out there that the fact that we're getting so many legends this month I'm pretty sick to death of it but I kind of also understand it. They will typically do this right before big celebrations and they're going to do it here because we're very close obviously to the New Year celebration. So of course at the start of the month we had um, you know the legend Momo and legend Hiyori. We also had the Rumble legend of Shinobu and Raizo. We then had the treasure map legend in Green Bull and now we have a Kazuna Clash legend in Otama. So, all these characters debuting right before New Year's, I'm expecting New Year's to be awesome, of course, once we get information in regards to that, I'll bring you guys a video, but, uh, we're gonna be talking about Otama today, but there's also a little bit other, a little bit else of uh, other information here, so, not only we get Otama, new rare recruit, which is Hamlet and Speed, but, six plus v2 shanks is gonna be arriving and it's gonna be exciting to talk about him so let's talk about otama first so otama is dex free spirit powerhouse which is a very interesting class combination for otama so otama's captain ability gives dex free spirit powerhouse 5.25 attack uh, 1.35 recovery which a lot of people understate recovery boosts it's pretty cool boost attack by 5.5 with recovery tandem one or a similar slot so a little bit specific. It makes recovery, tandem, and similar slots matching, heals 4,000 HP per turn, and allows you to overheal. So a very basic captain ability. Obviously, one big thing about it, there's no cooldown reduction, and there's no real utility. So this character is kind of like something that you would partner with a utility captain. By itself, it's like just okay. Um, lots of healing components, and a, a very respectable attack boost. You can't really complain about that too much. It boosts good classes and colors. It seems okay. Um, not really too much to talk about in regards to Otama's captain. Now, the special of Otama is actually pretty decent. So, it does allow you to, to heal by quite a lot. 30 times her recovery, and it does allow you to overheal. So, even if you're not using Otama as a captain, her special will overheal as a sub as well, which is great. Now, you get really good uh, utility here, reducing Despair and Bind by 7 turns, which is pretty good. I wish it also reduced Paralysis as well, but... That's fine. It also changes her own slot, including block into tandem, and then changes adjacent slots, including block into Wano. So you're, you're generating some good slots. So very good usability as a sub, which can generate you like four guaranteed matching slots. Uh, and then also it will boost the effects of orb boosts and effects of conditional boosts by 0.5. And then it says it will add 0.5 to the effect of all boosts and conditional boosts that are launched after this special for one turn, which does apply to supports as well. So to kind of run this down and break this one down, basically, if you launch her special while you have an all boost or a conditional boost, you buff it by 0.5. However, if you launch Otama's special first and then you get... Um, you know another orb boost after her special or another conditional boost after her special It will then still give that a 0.5 increase. So I think it's pretty cool But it means that this character is not going to synergize um, Like super well with some of those other types of units that like to buff conditionals and it kind of devalues some certain super tandems Because if this character already buffs conditional boosts by herself then characters like Enma Zor or super tandem Nami the whole like super tandem focus is to buff conditional boost and if you have a character that already does that it means that their super tandem is kind of devalued a little bit so it's going to be interesting i don't think this character is going to see play in in like super boss scenarios but it's interesting to say the least um pretty good special remember you can use this as a sub so i do think this is going to see a pretty decent amount of play it's a good special overall it's solid um her super type she does have super type you do need uh, any of the following characters on the crew, and it's only one of them, it looks like. So you've got Luffy, Zoro, Nami, Usopp. you got Momonosuke, Sukiyaki, which is uh, Momonosuke's grandfather, you know, Odin's father. You also got Otsuru, Speed, Hamlet, and Charlotte, Lin, Lin or Big Mom. And it will allow you to heal 20 times her recovery, and if you use her as a captain, which you need to for her super type, that can overheal. Reduces enemies' defense by 50%, ignoring immunity to, to defense down in all immunity effects, which is amazing. And doubles damage dealt to defense down enemies for one turn. So with her kit and the way that it's built, you can make this a 2.5 times guaranteed conditional boost. And while yes, the defense reduction is only for 50%, it bypasses all immunities. That's the biggest component. Because, you know, yeah, usually with a defense down conditional boost, you'd use it against an enemy that has really high defense. And if you can set the defense to zero whilst also getting a conditional boost out of that, you're getting pretty good value. But even when the enemy doesn't have like increased defense, just 
getting a guaranteed conditional boost all the time is amazing there aren't many characters that can do that with like one kit as a whole this character can do that and this is such a valuable super type i can see this character being used as a captain quite a lot actually just because of this effect of getting a guaranteed conditional boost this is a very good kit by the way i love this super special with her normal special already being very very good so i think so far they've done a pretty good job with Ur with this otama and it only gets better when we get to her support effect because i think her support effect is legitimately crazy so sailor effect free spirit powerhouse recovery tandem matching heals 800 at the end of a turn so again more usability as a crewmate more healing her potential abilities, she has uh, reduced the no healing duration, hunger removal by three, and super tandem. Yes, she has a super tandem. And you need two of the listed characters, which I guess is kind of a downside because it means you have to, you know, it takes a little bit more for team building, but because it is a super tandem, you can't really expect it to be like a one-tap super tandem. Usually they restrict those to very specific units. But as for the super tandem effect, you get a 1.75 tandem attack boost to Dex, Free Spirit, and Powerhouse, and you further increase attack boosts by 0.5. So this is like just okay in my opinion like it's it's just okay but considering the characters you have on the list this is like pretty easy to team build for honestly like team building wise this is not a problem to get this super tandem but the other issue is is that a lot of these other characters will already have super tandems that are likely better than what this otama aims to do so i don't know if this super tandem is even going to be that used and it's a it's a it's a kizuna legend which are pretty hard to get to super tandem level five in the first place again i don't know if it's going to see a lot of play but let's talk about this support because it's kind of cracked you got momo big mom speed otsuru sukuyaki and hamlet so the amount of characters you can attach it to i mean the only ones that are probably going to see play is big mom and momo most of the time but once per quest if you're inflicted with despair reduce it by three and changes the supported characters slot to tandem at the start of the next turn that's that's an, an amazing support like i kind of want to get this character just for the support alone removing three turns of despair is crazy there's already been one character in the past that has been able to do that, which was the blue legend Whitebeard, who attaches to, I think, like Marco or Ace and stuff like that, some of the Whitebeard pirates. That support is really good. And getting access to another one of these supports, but instead you can attach it to Big Moms or Momonoskes, that's really good. So, big fan of the support, really good stuff. I think the generic kit of, 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 uh, of Otama is actually very, very solid. Uh, the Rumble stuff is pretty bad, though, to be fair. Dex gets speed and recovery increase, free spirit attack and crit up, fine. And then her special targets Dex teammates for two times recovery healing, two teammates with low HP for 2.2 healing, and two enemies for a 40% chance of confusion. That's fine. Um, it's, it's a decent special, especially at uh, 20 CT, but it just doesn't have a lot of synergy like Dex and free spirit. I mean, yeah, you've got Super Tandem Luffy, but you can't really use it on a free spirit team because i mean pirate rumble rare recruit otama is just better than this otama for free spirit teams specifically and then if you're building just for dex free spirit i suppose you could maybe do that but dex powerhouse is the better version of, of dex anyways so i don't think it's really worth using um so as for her normal kit in rumble it's pretty bad but her kit in generic content i'm actually kind of surprised it's pretty decent now the kazuna rare recruit that's debuting with otama is speed and hamlet which is like a fake dual unit who is dex free spirit powerhouse as well captain ability doesn't really matter here but the special 10 percent health cut so damage dealing special is good reduces cooldown by two turns amazing changes top and bottom row slots including block into tandem doubles dex free spirit powerhouse character slot effects for three turns and if the amount of hp healed beyond your max hp is 30k or more reduces damage reduction and damage threshold by six otherwise it's only a four turn removal i absolutely despise this condition for specials they've done it in the past and these types of conditions are just awful because they only work in very specific circumstances so i don't like it i don't like this at all like i would prefer um orb consumption mechanics rather than uh hp healed beyond your maximum level um you know restrictions not a big fan of this one because like if you get this rare recruit you kind of have to use otama with it otherwise it's kind of bad um though i will say if you do get it to work like this is a very good special and also with the crewmate ability to resist two turns of special reverse that is really good the fact that this character does deal with special reverse by two turns pretty solid overall pinch healing uh enrage and support effect doesn't really do anything so as for speed and hamlet not a big fan of this unit they're just okay it works very well with otama obviously but outside of that don't see it seeing that much play now we get to the giga chad himself red haired shanks so this is v2 shanks receiving his super evolution 
into this guy. And the thing is, is V2 Shanks is one of the, I think he is at this point, the oldest legend in the game that doesn't have a 6+, plus, aside from Log Luffy, which is not going to be receiving one, I'm pretty sure. But that's crazy, right? This is the oldest unit to not have a super evolution yet. He's finally getting it alongside his level limit break. So this is very, very exciting stuff. When this guy debuted, he was one of the best legends in the game alongside V2 Akainu. Partnering these characters together was godly. So let's go ahead and see what he's going to be doing this time around. So Shanks, Int Free Spirit Cerebral, this is the exact same. So this is his base captain ability. Remember that the captain ability will change as you get level limit breaks and as you limit break expand. I don't know. I think it's an expanded effect. It might be an expanded captain. Uh, if that's the case, I probably want to expand this guy. But anyways, base captain ability. So at, the, at a bare minimum, minus one cooldown, 4.5 attack to all characters, 1.3 HP, int and size slots are beneficial. But then if you have four or more characters on your crew of the same typing, it boosts the types attack by five times so you could run double shanks and then like a full crew of strength units so everyone gets 4.5 but then strength units get the five times boost so that's how he works and then if your crew uses a special to apply an attack boost or a chain addition extends the duration by one turn this is very good because shanks is special uh, if you didn't know is an attack boost and a chain addition so this is going to be interesting to see how they apply this with his special so, and then it says level one captain, which I assume is expansion, uh, which reduces cooldown by one. It's 4.75 times attack instead of 4.5. And the attack boost is still the same. It's still a five times boost. And then the extension is still the same. So from, from, for that buff to go from 4.5 to 4.75, and that's it, that's pretty bad. So with level limit break, so when you get the dupes invested into Shanks, his base captain ability becomes a 4.5 at base, still minus one cooldown, 15% damage reduction, which is very good, 5.25 times attack to the to the uh, dominant color on your crew, and if you apply attack boost, base attack boost, or chain addition, you extend it by one turn. Yeah, so level limit break is much, much better, but then if you get the max capacity captain ability, minus two cooldown at the start of the fight, 4.75 attack, 1.3 HP, 15% damage reduction, inside matching the dominant color gets 5.25 if you got four or more and then the extension still applies to the same so yeah the, the the difference between level limit break and then the i think this is the expanded captain uh it's not that major but the the minus two cooldown is is a big deal especially if you're running double shanks you get way more speed farming potential so you know honestly it's it's a pretty good captain ability like obviously no utility really but the extension of these buffs could be interesting and he's free spirit cerebral so you could like synergize him well with other good characters so his special ability here reduces paralysis by five this is brand new he didn't have that before boost chain multiplier by 1.2 for two turns beforehand this was 0.9 increase so going from 0.9 to 1.2 is pretty good and if four more characters are on the crew, boost the dominant t color by uh, 2.5. And it cannot be removed by the crew or enemies. Oh, that's super cool. I love that. That's super unique. And uh, that's for two turns. And then also change all slots, including block, into the dominant color. That's really interesting. And I like that if you use him as a captain, you can actually make this last for three turns. So having a three-turn attack boost that cannot be removed by the enemy is really good. I believe this is the first attack boost in the game that could potentially do that. That's super cool. All right. Uh, level limit break. So if you get him max capacity, six turn paralysis removal, 1.4 chain addition for two turns, that's crazy. That's super good. And if four more characters of the same type are on the crew, boost the attack by 2.5 and boost their base attack by 1,000, the attack boost and base attack boost cannot be removed by the enemies for two turns. If you use them as a captain, this now becomes a three turn base attack, chain boost, and attack boost, and then changes all orbs into the dominant type. I think he's pretty good. I don't... Okay, well, one thing that obviously that is standing out is that this character does not have super type. And if any character deserved a super type upon super evolution, it was going to be this guy. It would have been perfect to have a super type for this guy. However, I don't really know what they could have done with it. Uh, I feel like they probably would have taken that component in his captain where you extend the duration of buffs. Probably would just would have put it in his super type. So I guess passively having that in his captain is good. But I don't know, maybe like an all block, I think, would have been cool in his super type. But overall, I think it's a good buff for Shanks. Good captain ability with, with full buffs. And then Shanks' special with full buffs is also very, very good. So I, I don't really have too many complaints about this. I think that Shanks is going to be a good character to have 
And if you want to build those monocolor teams, he's going to be good for that. You can run, like, literally, Shanks is your captain, and your other five units, including your friend captain, can just be another color, and this Shanks is going to support that team very, very well. So I think that this has potential moving forward. If you use him as a sub, though, you get a 150 attack boost base to the dominant type on the crew, okay? Sight Int are matching. Potential abilities in Rage, Sight Damage Reduction, Pinch Healing, Support Effect is still the same. His PvP kit looks to be pretty terrible, so at max capacity, you get the Int Crit up, Sai Attack down, that's pretty interesting. Speed down level 5 as well to Sai, and then when you hit a crit up to 5 times, Int Teammates get level 4 attack. Wait, that sounds kind of crazy, but it is requiring you to hit a crit, but... Upon hitting a crit, you get level 4 attack to int, and you can do that 5 separate times. So you can get up to level 20 attack with Shanks by himself, like that sounds just wild to me, but it is requiring you to hit critical hits. And it's only with Shanks himself, of course, so I don't know. It, crit, crit has never really been that popular in Rumble. 27 CT, uh, targets enemies for a 30% health cut, that's good. Guard down level 7, int attack up. Uh, or int type teammates critical up level six. Okay, so he adds crit with his special and then psi enemies for 2.4 So he only specifically does damage versus psi So I guess if you if you're building mono int against psi enemies Maybe you could use him. I just don't think he's gonna see that much play to be honest He seems kind of average in rumble and that's it pretty much He does evade paralysis and psi damage reduction, but there we go. That's the breakdown guys We got shanks the new v2 shanks x plus it's not it's not as good as I thought it was going to be um, but those buffs of attack boost and base attack boost not being able to be removed by crew or enemies and making that last for three turns, I think that's the biggest component about this guy that I really, really love. And he's got a captain ability that's actually usable too. Like, it, good, it, it's a solid captain, but uh, like speed farming potential as well, but no no utility there. Not a big fan of Hamlet and speed. And then Otama, I think is actually a really solid uh, Kizuna Legend, you know? We had the Kizuna Legend Iron come out a, like a month or two ago, and yeah, I wasn't really too much of a fan of her, but I think this Otama is a much better Kizuna Legend, so I like what they've done here. Pretty, pretty cool legend. But let me know your thoughts and opinions about these three characters down below in the comment section, guys. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys did, make sure to go ahead and leave a like, and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. On that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.